Hello everyone, this is Joe from Just Socks. This is the first of multiple videos showing you how to use our online customizer to design your very own customized socks. So when you go to the Just Socks website, you want to go ahead and click shop. Once you get to the shop button here, you're going to have a couple different options. We offer three different options at the moment in order to create customized socks. You could have your custom design done by our professional graphics designer by clicking this it is $24.99 typically takes two to five business days to have a custom design created by our professional designers so if you're looking for a fundraiser or a school sock uh, professional design something with your business logo uh, go ahead and upload that information to our professional designers we'll come up with a concept for you if you would like to design your own custom sock, we have a couple options here. We have your personalized sock design that allows you to put text only content on a pair of white socks. So you can easily click on that one and create your personalized socks or you can create a custom sock where you're able to upload your own graphics and content as well as, uh, as text over to a custom sock here. And we'll go ahead and show you how this works and how to use the customizer. So if we click on the customize button here, you're going to see this is your custom sock. Our socks are made front to back. So please note that when you're doing your custom design, all the artwork that you do on the front of the socks will also be applied to the back of the socks. So our socks are made front to back. So everything that's on the front, you will also see on the back side of the sock. So once the customizer opens here, you have a couple different options. You have add image, add text, you have layers palette here. So if you want to manage layers, meaning you have text over graphics and things as such, you can do it as, you know, just by managing your layers there. Uh, that allows you to quickly and easily be able to move and manipulate some of the layers that you're working with. So what we're going to start with is we're going to go ahead and add an image. So if we click the add an image button, you can see here I've already uploaded Kiss Me, I'm Irish. Uh, go ahead and click this one. You see that it actually transfers it over to the socks. <clears throat> what we have here is we have two images, one for each sock. So what I want to be able to do is to take this particular image and I want to shrink it down so it's going to fit just on the single sock here. So I'm going to go ahead and move it and shrink it down this way here. So you can see I'm going to adjust the sock this way. I'm going to go ahead and click on the other image. You can see that I'm moving it around here with my mouse. I'm going to grab it in the corner here and I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down. And I'm going to move it here as well. So now I have two images on the top of the socks. Now you can place these anywhere on the front of the sock. Uh, please note though on the back of the sock, the back of the socks, the black foot that we have on our custom socks goes up to the ankle. So on the back of the socks, uh, you're only going to have from ankle up. Uh, unlike the front of the sock that goes down to the toe, on the back of the sock you only have from the ankle up to the top of the calf. So that's the only areas that's able to be printed on. So if you're looking for something where it's on the foot on maybe one sock, uh, we want to make sure that we have something separate for the back of the sock. Unless you just want the back of the sock to stay a solid color or uh, with no graphics on it. And you can easily do that as well. Uh, but we recommend that you at least put all your graphics at the top of the sock here. So that way when we print the socks from front to back, you'll actually get graphics on both the front of the socks and on the rear of the socks. So as you can see here, I have the graphics here. Now, if you actually click on any place within the sock itself, you're going to see this little box that's going to pop up here. This allows you to change the colors of the socks. Now, please note that it may not, so we're going to select red here just to kind of show you an example. Uh, so what you see here, the socks turn red. Now, please note the color that you see on the screen may not be the same exact color that you're going to see uh, once the socks are printed. So please use the color palette that's down below here. That's the colors that we're actually going to work with. So when your socks are actually created, that's going to be the color that it's actually printed onto the sock. So we're going to do a dark, deep red, and that'll be the color of this particular sock. So as you can see, the sock, the bottom of the sock and the tip of the socks, they will remain black. Uh, they will not be colored over. So you cannot change those colors. That is a standard color for the bottom of our socks and they're 
unable to be customized. So the only things that you're customizing is the white portions of the sock. So as you see here, we went ahead and did red. So that allows us to do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some socks. And we're just gonna say, Happy St. Pat's. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, Add text. Now, this is something that you really have to pay attention to here. So as I was saying earlier, there's a manage layers. You can see this right here. Um, now, the thing to note about the, the text area, you see here, as I clicked on the layers palette, now you can actually see where the text was. Uh, by default, it puts it right in the middle of the socks and those areas are not to be printed on so you're not able to see the text that you actually created so you have to sit there and highlight that particular area once it's highlighted you can move it over to the sock at that point as you can see here when i move it in the center you can't read it but if you move it over to the sock you can actually see what it looks like so there we have that and we're going to change this and we're going to make it white Actually, let's change this and we're going to make it green. More of a darker green like that. All right. Just like that. So you can also click on the layers palette here. All right. So that allows you to kind of change everything. You can change the font that we're using as well. As you can see here, we're using Times New Roman. It also gives you the ability to do curve text. So you can actually curve the text around as well. Um, so if you select it, you can actually move them around, curve it out, things like that as you're looking to, you know, adjust it. So see here, we just did it like this. So that allows you to do curve. You can do it this way. Make them in the circles. Or just keep it straight. So just for this training video, we're going to go ahead and keep it straight here. So if you wanted to put text on the other socks, you can do that. Again, you're not going to see it, but it's right here in the center. And if we move them around... colors if you want to make sure that the colors are the same you can actually look on the palette here and when you click on this you're going to see the colors the the color number this is the hex number uh, for this particular color you can actually select that uh, that way when you go to the other text you can actually do the exact same one that way you know that the text is the same as what you had on the original socks. So if you select it, you can select this number there. That way they're identical. Now, once we're done with the once we're done with our layers we can go ahead and close everything out we have our socks however we want it like i said if you want to adjust something you can easily click on it to adjust them out and you can move them around uh, if you want to change the color of the sock you can go ahead and change it a little bit you know here we'll just leave them as white once it's done you can have a couple different options you can share your sock design with your friends. If you wanna show someone the designs that you've actually created, you can share it on Facebook, Twitter, or email that custom sock design to your friend or someone that you're creating the sock for. Tell them, check out the new cu custom sock design that you're actually creating. As you see here, let's take a look here and we'll paste this. You'll see if you send them that design, they will be able to see that for themselves as well. So you can share your design once it's all said and done. Once you're done, go ahead and click add to cart. 
from there you can go ahead and check out you're going to see here that that you created a custom design it shows our designers exactly the colors so we match your colors with the colors that you selected within your sock once you proceed to checkout and check out this design will be sent to our graphic designers and our custom print shop so your socks could be created and printed and shipped to you right away so if you should have any problems please feel free to reach out to our support department or just email sales at justsocks.com thank you very much and hope you had a great time and this video is informative if you should have any questions please feel free to reach out thank you